Mm, all right. The market has opened. It's trying to do the same thing again. Uh, trying to open up with a good, great sell-off. And uh, yeah, let's wait. You know, let's l wait for a little bit of retracement, and we can start selling out here. It'd be a good position. The buyers out here on this level have already must have exited right now. So we'll wait. We'll have to wait for a couple of uh, new candles, and uh, we can then gauge, you know, how the market is reacting, where it's going, and we can place a trade over there. So let me just remove this as well. There's a good retracement over here. But again, too early to take a trade right now. So let's wait and watch. It might just go up, create those stop losses on the upper side and then move down again. But the plan is again, as I said, it's to sell. <coughs> Oops, let me just remove this too so that the screen is more clear. Let me see what's happening in Nifty. Good sell off out here. Nice. Let it go up. Let it go up. Let me see what the Camarilla says. Yeah, it's a good, these places are good to sell off. We'll get a nice space as well, a nice room too. And yeah, it should be good enough to capture some momentum. Let me remove this. Let me also show you the volume profile. What is, what is it saying? Hmm. So yeah, I think we're good. We can place our trade out here. I'm just going to wait for one more candle. Let this go. <clears throat> I think this is good. We can go in. <laughs> Wait a sec. <sighs> Nifty is trying to go up, but I don't think that thing is going to sustain. What we're going to do is we're going to give it some more seconds and then go into our selling. What we're going to do is the plan is to sell 43, 40, the round numbers uh, and the 900s, 43,900. So just keeping ready. There's a rejection out here. That's good. 21 seconds. Mm, let it just prove itself. Uh, this is a good place. I, actually, this has this could have been the good place, but I'm one of those traders who's not quite sure uh, and needs some more time to gauge with it. So yeah, so let's do it. Mm. And nineteen uh, four fifty should be a good level. So yeah, let's let's just go for it now. I think. Nine hundred. A little late, but it's okay. 10, 20 points late, but that's that's completely all right. 
so yeah um let me just watch the trade for a bit and then we can speak about it um yeah it's going in our favor right now so what we're going to do is try to capture these buyers over here the days end and um, yeah that's that's the plan so let me just remove these uh, camarilla lines so our stop loss is again going to be the same as usual uh, around like 800 points uh, 800 rupees for the live account which is doing on one lot and for this account where we're trading in 900 quantities that is again going to be around a lakh um, why we took this trade because the buyers are only there on the lower levels no direct stop losses are available on the upper side and uh, yeah you know if it has to go up it will break out all these levels and then move up and that's going to be a problem for us but what we're aiming is it will see right now the problem what has happened is with this candle these buyers were already taken out i am hoping that you know the market comes for these buyers as well and uh, yeah the the market is in negative sentiment and uh, this is what i'm aiming for that the market to to not take any retracements out here now the, there are longer uh, there's a long wick candle as well which is left out here so i'm hoping that the market does you know go up a little bit and then comes down but if it goes on breaking these levels the 44000 level and the 44050 level then i'm going to start planning to exit my trade as it always happens we have uh, <laughs> we're in losses right now around 10000 on the virtual account on our normal account it's only like 120 or something a <clears throat> couple of scenarios could happen out here the market you know again comes up and breaks out there we give a sl the market stays on these levels again comes to these levels and shows a rejection good place to average what i'm hoping is for the market to just go down and crash down till these levels so these are like good levels for me to exit out here now i'll show you why this again is a good level for me to exit is because out here there's a camera uh, camarilla point of the uh, support uh, this is called the uh, mm, l2 support so l2 support and out here there's one more support as well so at least till the day is low um, that is going to be the target because other than that we won't get anything It'll, the position will be still in losses see as you can see out here it's in losses um yeah let's let's continue to watch the market out here as i said this these would be the levels where i average but as i said this is a one lot one trade challenge so it's quite difficult to do that hopefully the market will fall into you know continue its momentum downwards it'll just consolidate out here and give a nice crash and this time we are going to closely watch the market to exit as well because profit booking is our weak point so let's see how that turns out it's a time when i'm like ah oh, should i book should i book <laughs> And yeah, this is what happens when you start booking in. Um, usually you feel, you know, because you made a loss yesterday, you feel that it won't reach your target. That is a problem out there. I think, let me see, 165 could have reached 190. Again, it's going to eat into your profit. So as well, might as well cut off at 60 today. If it reaches 60. Let's see, 59. Take that low out. <laughs> Let's see. From here, if it starts eat starts eating into our profits, I think we should just exit. I think we must reach 67. 
now it's good if it uh, I think we're gonna exit out here because of yesterday 63,000 is good for us 500 rupees is good for us okay so whatever profits we made today the thing I'm I'm uh, you know I sh this is the wrong place to exit a very wrong place but uh, yeah this is the problem which is happening again and again because I you know from yesterday it's been eating into my profits it's been giving me losing trades so I thought like okay today let me end this session in a good on a good positive note so at least we have uh, a little bit of uh, you know a, a mind stability I would say that the, the whole point was to book in greens all the time now again see the market has started moving this is one of the biggest problem that you are not when on on the winning days you're not trying to capture the most of it on the losing days um, you are giving your stop losses on the winning days you're not waiting for the market to actually act in your favor so let's see I'm gonna give it one or two more candles we booked the profits out at um, we captured around I think yeah just 30 points Mm, on this trade it should have been at least 40 points 44,000 P now is running at 205 so we could have captured those 10 extra points and even more so we could have reached our goal of lack but we'll put this into the trading journal you know like what went wrong um, the surgery of how this could have been played better um, yeah let's let's watch and learn today we've booked our profits but let's watch and learn today as to if it goes in our favor if we were right to book it at the lows mm -hmm. or you know what we could have done otherwise and yeah this goes into the journal of <laughs> a not so well executed trade it is well executed as such at, at a certain amount of um, at a particular point but the problem is still there that you know the target was not met if we keep taking a loss of a lack and if we keep exiting at a profit of just you know 60,000 or on those numbers then that's not going to really help us right eventually on the longer run we are going to lose so out here, you know, let's gauge with how the profit booking should be taking place. Yeah, so I think I would have booked at this level. This level was a good level for me. But right now the market seems to be coming for the lower levels as well. But out here the buyers have gone. Out here there is a support. <clears throat> I should have seen Nifty. And the candles which it is making see this one is a nice trade could have gotten more like 20 points we could have reached our target easily of a lack out here but we messed up it's okay that profit booking is is really important unless it shows because two days it was showing us in profits like we were reaching 60,000 and uh, other numbers as well and ending up in a and, and suddenly with one or two candles it was just going into complete losses so this was an important lesson for us you know nifty is gone <laughs> it's broken down that level as well the 19400 level So what let's understand what did we learn today you know we are in a fear mode and this see the the problem out here is the three three things or three or four things which are really key important first is your analysis second is your execution and third you know like there's another thing which is the the conviction and the confidence and then in execution we have an important thing as well the profit booking <coughs> we 
which we've completely and clearly failed out here. So though we got the analysis right, you know, we did the day's analysis, the previous day's session, and we followed the plan exactly that if it's serving under 44,000, uh, we will sell, you know, it. there would be a selling trade. We had a nice um, candle out here, which gave us an indication of the bias being taken out, but also a weakness being shown out here with this candle. If it had to like move up, you know, it would uh, make candles which are thick green and would have crossed this high as well. This high wasn't crossed, so it gave us a, a nice probability that yes, it is going to serve under the 44,000 levels. Now let's understand why did we book profit out here? We book profit simply purely because of the reason that I saw uh, uh, an above candle out here and I had some profits. It I also discussed that if it reaches 60,000 today, I will be booking. Um, out here we saw, uh, you know, like there could have been a, a, a big green candle which could have eaten into all our profits. So today, because we had a losing day yesterday, it was wise to book today. Now, as we can see, there's a complete green candle which is being formed out here. Let's see, notice the premium. The, the premium is still at uh, around the, the time where we booked at 44,000. We booked at around 195. It's still, it's running at around 187 right now. This could be very well like, you know, be like a gamma candle. But out here, the profit booking sort of takes place usually when it starts eating into your profit. We could have easily achieved today uh, a target of one lakh and that could have completely offset our losses from yesterday which could have given us a nice fresh start for tomorrow but it's okay i think you know we decided on a plan um i wanted to reel in uh, the money at around 60 because that my mind was completely there so you know, instead of waiting for the profits to accumulate, we made a charge over here. Now, as you can see, it's and also it is an expiry day. So it's, it's very important to play your cards smart on an expiry day. If you find that you are getting profits, um, better collect them and fight another day. So we saw the markets move all the way to 200. We booked at 195, we booked 30 points of profit, but we saw the market go all the way to 217 and 220 levels, which could have given us an extra 20 points. And um, that could have completed our 50 point target for the day. Out here, you know, unless and until an uptrend is confirmed, uh, see, it could still go down. But if it performs out here and then creates a low out here and then again tries to go up, then an uptrend would be confirmed. And yeah, that would have been that would be like a good exit to the trade. As we can see, there's some upper wicks left out here. So the market could come for these sellers again and then go down. But uh, as you know that this challenge is about one uh, one trade, one hour a day. So we didn't want to wait for that much time. But yes, ideally, we should have waited for this low not uh, you know the low out here the low out here this could have been a great spot to book your profits so yeah we booked we did a early profit booking and we lost out on uh, more 25 points which are quite important when you're just aiming at 50 points a day these 25 points are quite important so yeah closing the day in in um not meeting the target we just closing the day in mediocre profits yesterday we had a loss of 700 rupees today we have a profit of 400 and before that we had a profit of around 200 so in net we are in losses so that is something we could have covered it today but uh, yeah learning lessons and we'll keep a track of it you know at the end of the day we will do a monthly analysis and check where are we going wrong why are we going wrong most of the time it is profit booking and the if we if we start noting down how many times are we going wrong in the profit booking that is going to serve us well uh, where we understand like why and when and how to sort of take profits because taking profit is another important skill of day trading which we will learn as we go by so thank you for the day i think this was a good trade and um, see you guys tomorrow.